come from a background of business merchants and miners. Very, very dear to me, that town. I served as a village, the village president, also as a trustee on that board. And back in the early 1900s, one of my relatives was the clerk. So I have a very good passion about where we come from and how we have to get to the future. And I know that our future will be the development of our natural resources. But I am very cautious to make sure that we preserve this area for the future so it is beautiful. And we can do everything that we set our minds out to do. We can accomplish it. We live in America. We can do anything. So I look forward to working with all the new industries that are trying to come up here. I just had a good conversation this morning about an entrepreneur that wants to do business in Houghton County. It's a product of Michigan Tech. We need to support those initiatives. We need to build our area. And that's what I'm focused on doing. I want to make sure that we very much focus on business to make this the best place to live, the best place to do business, and attract new growth here. We have the opportunity through all of these different partners I see. We have Michigan Tech with an incubator zone. We have Finlandia, Cohiba Community College. We gotta look at that and build on it. When I go around the state and tell people where I am from and the position that I am in, they say, you are coming from an area that has so much potential growth, the best place in Michigan, because we have everything that other areas look for. We got natural resources. We have a wonderful sense of community. We have a lot of labor out there that needs to be employed. And we have the knowledge up here. We have the potential for the growth. We're gonna have the discussion today. In the campaign cycle, we talked about education was my number one priority, and it is. We have to make sure we have a skilled workforce. We need to have a K through 12 system that is supported and funded and managed properly. And we need to have to have that opportunity for people to go on to higher ed. We have to have those things in place to have a successful state. And I will support those initiatives. And I will be contacting all of the Department of Education to make sure that we are the best. The other thing that was important, and it is right to my heart, is the fact that we have jobs and opportunity for the youth to stay in our area. I see the opportunity with the different industries that want to come in with the mining. I think we have a lot of opportunity up here for growth in agriculture. I think we have these examples right here if we look at Oakland County. We have a person in Rice Lake that's doing blueberry production. We have to grow on that. I spent time with the Farm Bureau on Thursday of this last week, and those were the questions that I asked the Farm Bureau. I want to know what we can do to grow agriculture in this district. I want to know what we can do to help people get started. That's our future. That's one aspect of it. The technology aspect is another one. I'm glad to see we're getting the high-speed internet with broadband up here so we can attract people to build businesses to be able to reside in our area because they can do this business here just like they can do it any place in the world. And we want to have them come here. We want to welcome those people here. We have different partners. I have reached out to our Congressman Dan Beneshek, reached out to Tom Casperson. It's a collective. We have to do it together. There's major projects that I want to work on that I think that is going to increase the business in this area. Transportation is one big piece of that. We have to have the ability to get the rail back in our area and have that develop. We got a federal level, we got to start looking at our waterways. This canal out here has to be dredged. So if somebody wants to put in a business where they're going to manufacture, we have to have a way to ship it. And I've been talking with people the last six months about that transportation issue. We can be a part of the global economy. We have products here that we can sell on a global economy. One example is right up here on the hill with Northern Hardwoods. 
they can produce a product, any, they can produce the best product, to be able to put that product out, what's holding them back is the transportation cost. Water is still the cheapest way to transport something. We have that here. 